we have mentioned, these Gentile ones, they have principalities. They are not demons that just come to destroy the individual. So you must know the principality that has arisen against your nation. Now let me tell you about nation. How many minutes do I have? Five minutes. Nation is different from country. It's different. There's the Yoruba nation. I'm from the Benin Kingdom. There's the Benin nation. There's the Yoruba nation. The Igbo nation. Different nations. And the Bible says in Matthew 24 that in the last days, nation will rise against nation. So when the Bible says nation will rise against nation, it doesn't mean Cameroon will rise against Nigeria. It doesn't mean Togo will rise against Syria. No. Nation kingdoms will rise against kingdoms. And when a kingdom is going to rise against another kingdom, you better pray that there be men of Issachar that understand the times and know what this nation ought to do. In the spirit realm, there's a lot of political intrigue taking place. A lot of political intrigue taking place behind the scenes. And you need to dig a hole in the wall to see what is going on. And the powers that are working right now are very manipulative powers. And this land, God said I should tell you, thus said the Lord, pray to me that I will raise up a man, that I will raise up a woman that will cut the horn of the Gentiles, that will fray the horns of the Gentiles. The Lord says, I should tell you that your warfare, I won't be around for the 24 day and um, 24 hour prayer. But the Lord says, I should tell you that your warfare has to move from an individual level to a kingdom level. To a kingdom level. If you're still in the business of, Lord, I need a shoe, I need a car, I need a job, I need a this, I need a that. Yes, we need those things. And he knows what you need even before you ask. But this is the time now to start to battle principalities. And we defeat them because we have the whole armor of God. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I lift up your people before the throne of grace. That every power of Satan that has arisen against them, in the authority of your word that can never be broken, I pray the destruction of satanic powers in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.